There is something very wrong with me. No, you're just different now. Oh. Fitz never believed that Sky's powers were bad. He never believed that she was gonna turn evil. I just, I love him for that. Today we're watching one of the most emotional and beautiful Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. scenes. It is when Fitz finds out that Daisy, aka Sky, has superpowers. Daisy Sky Johnson is one of the most incredible, powerful, badass superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I love her story because she didn't start out that way. At the beginning of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., she is literally just a hacker and an agent named Sky trying to find out about her past when she discovers she's actually an inhuman with quake powers. Oh my god, season two, episode 10 is such an insane roller coaster. Daisy goes through Terra Genesis and it's so powerful and she gets her quake powers, but no one else knows that she was affected. And even Daisy doesn't really know that she has powers. She's just trying to figure out if she was affected and how so that she can fix herself and go back to being normal. So right now she's in quarantine to make sure that she wasn't infected with anything that can affect the others and she's terrified. This episode is so crazy and sad but I love it so much and I always find it so comforting so I'm so excited to watch it today. I'm wearing my you're just different now and there's nothing wrong with that t-shirt that I created inspired by this scene from my Marvel merchandise shop called We Could Be Heroes Designs. The link is in the description below if you want to check that out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and comment below if you love Fitz and Daisy's friendship and let's Let's find out about Daisy's powers from season two, episode 11 called Aftershocks. Just a heads up, I think I'm gonna call Daisy Sky right now when I'm talking about this episode because that's what they're calling her right now. So I don't wanna like confuse people. So, okay, let's go. Oh, she's so alone. Hey, that's... <gasps> no, oh my God, his face. He's just standing there and crying because he doesn't know what to say to her. Oh my God. What's wrong? Can you tell me? No, he doesn't even feel like he knows her anymore. He knows that something happened and he doesn't know if he can trust her. Oh my God, that's so sad. Fixed your biometer watch. Checked your vitals at the time of the temple collapse. I think it is so cool and smart of them how they made Skye's biometer watch such a big part of her plot before this episode. Like how she would constantly check her heart rate to make sure that she was calm and focused while she was training. So that way it makes sense that she was wearing her watch when the temple collapsed and that's how Fitz finds out about her heart rate. I, I like how they connected all of this. Your heart rate was recorded at almost 300 BPM. That's very fast. No. Oh. That's inhuman. He said it, he said it, he said it, human. Oh my God, that's so cool. Is that the first time that we hear someone on the show say the word inhuman? Oh my God, I get chills because that's exactly what she is. It's so cool. Oh. Thought the readings were a mistake that I put the thing together wrong. Oh, you know how terrified she must be right now? Because neither of them really know how she's different. They just know that something's changed and that it could be dangerous, which it is. I've been struggling to, uh, um, Aww. Something's wrong with the data in my head. Oh my god, season two is so tragic for Fitz because it's right after Ward dropped him and Simmons in the ocean and now Fitz has his head injury and he's still learning how to like think straight and communicate what he's thinking. So Fitz slowly having to figure out Sky's biometer watch must have been so sad because it's either his head isn't working or there's something wrong with Sky. And either way, it's just so terrifying for him to figure out. What are you saying? So I was thinking how the heart monitor seemed to shatter from the inside out, but it was still on your wrist when we found you. That doesn't make sense. Oh my God, Ian's acting in this scene, in this entire episode, in this entire series is so good. Like the way he builds up to what the big realization is, is so intense. And how we found you, basically unharmed in the collapse with destruction all around you. Oh, Fitz. Oh, Sky. Oh my God, the music is insane. The way it's building up to this big moment. Oh my God. So it took a while to dawn on me. Or maybe I was just afraid to think it. Oh, no, this is so sad because he loves Sky so much and he just doesn't want to see her be hurt. You know how painful this must be for him to know that something has changed in Sky, but he doesn't think he can trust himself to think straight or trust his thought process, but, but he knows. He knows that something's changed. Fitz is smart. He knows. You survived the destruction because you caused it. That is one of the most powerful lines ever. That this little baby innocent sky was able to survive this massive giant earthquake because she caused it. 
Oh my god, I get chills. She's so powerful. No, no, no. I know it wasn't the only one changed in there. No. I'm pretty sure the DNA results we're running right now no. are going to confirm that there's nothing wrong oh. with the data in my head scan. Oh my god, the way this guy's just screaming and saying no over and over again like it's a nightmare that she wants to wake up from. Chloe Bennett's acting so good. There's something wrong with you. Oh my god, the power. The power. Oh, Fix. Oh no. Oh, and then right there, Sky's face. She knows it's not a nightmare. She knows she's awake. She knows this is happening. She knows she's causing this. It's so scary for her. So that insane moment happens. And then fast forwarding a little bit, Sky scrambles to clean up the broken glass so that no one notices, but she cuts herself on her hand when May walks in to check on her. Are you bleeding? Oh, May's so sweet. She's so worried about Sky. I love May so much because she acts all tough and she acts all cool, but when it comes to someone she loves getting hurt, like at all, she goes into protective mode and I love it. We should have your DNA results back any minute now. Once we know there's nothing wrong, we'll have you out of there. Oh. Oh, this is crazy because it's literally like a countdown. Sky knows that there's only a matter of minutes before everyone else finds out and they all start seeing her as a monster, which is how she sees herself right now. Something's wrong? Uh, oh. What the hell happened? Sky? Oh, the way that she says Sky, she's so gentle with her. Like, May is Sky's mom 100%. I love them so much. Oh. <laughs> Fitz. Fitz was a klutz again. Oh. Sorry, it was my fault. I knocked over the lamp when I was taking a sample of Sky's blood with one of those ridiculous hazmat suits on and I don't know, I guess my coordination still needs work. Wow, oh my god, the way that Sky couldn't even get out the words. She was like stuttering Fitz. Oh my god, it's so painful for her. And then Fitz came in at the exact right moment. I just love Fitz so much for knowing Sky well enough to know that he does not need to be afraid of her and that she actually needs his help. So he came up with this story so fast. He's brilliant and so amazing. I love Fitz. Her DNA is an exact match to what it was before, she's clear. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Season two, specifically this episode and this time, is when I stopped thinking about Fitzsimmons as one person and I started seeing them as individual people. And it's also when I started loving Fitz a little bit more than Gemma. I love Simmons, like do not get me wrong. Gemma Simmons is amazing. I love her, especially in the later seasons, but in season two, she's understandably afraid of people with powers and afraid of what they can do and she wants everything to be the same as it was and she wants it to all be controlled but because of that fear Gemma's trying to stop Sky's powers and she's trying to make her normal again whereas Fitz Fitz never believed that Sky's powers were bad he never believed that she was gonna turn evil Fitz knows Sky and he always believed that she would turn out to be the superhero that she did I just I love him for that I'm gonna call Coulson he can use the good news you all right <laughs> May and Sky's relationship is so incredible, but I also feel like May kind of knows that something's still up. Something is still not right. Oh, oh man, she knows he lied. I love their eye contact right here because they're both so scared. But in this moment, Sky just trusts Fitz to help her completely. She trusts him. Uh, well, maybe you could get her some clean sheets. She should probably sleep. Yes. You deserve a good night's nice rest. I love how sweet Gemma is though. I love her and Skye being sisters so much. Like in season seven, whenever Daisy is like, I already have a sister to save. Her name is Gemma Simmons. Oh my God, I love that so much, Skimmons. I love their friendship. Yeah. Oh, wow. They talk so much on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. about how Fitz and Simmons could always read each other's minds, but I love that Sky and Fitz can too. All the bus kids can, really, Sky, Fitz, and Simmons. But especially in season two, the way that Fitz and Sky look at each other, they can communicate with a look. They always know what the other is thinking. I just love their friendship so much. What did you just do? Switch your blood results with your old samples. Give me a hand. I really wish we could have seen Fitz's point of view throughout this entire episode, like him working on Sky's biometer watch, him thinking he's not thinking straight, and then him realizing what really happened. But after Sky shatters the glass, he runs back to his lab, so scared, he's freaking out, trying to figure out what to do. And in like a split second, he knows he has to do something to protect Sky. So he switches her DNA with her old samples, and then he runs back to tell everyone. I mean, Fitz's point of view is so action-packed and intense. I just wish we could have seen some of it. The new samples are different. Drastically. How 
terrifying is that to know that something inside of you has changed and you don't even feel like you know yourself anymore? Ugh. Until everyone around here calms down, I don't think we should tell anybody. What with the way Simmons is acting? Oh, Sky feeling like even her closest friends are against her. Like Fitz is the only person she's safe with right now. For now, we should just keep it between us. Aww. Keep you safe until we figure oh. it out, okay? Fitz is so unbelievably brave and selfless. Like he doesn't even know how Sky was changed, but he knows her and he knows that she needs his help. And he's willing to keep it a secret from everyone, even Simmons, just to keep Sky safe. Ugh, their friendship is so pure and innocent. I love them. Oh my god, the way that she just melts into his arms. This is all my fault. Oh. I could have stopped her. I, l I oh. let this happen and I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Everything's my fault. So not only is Sky going through all this trauma, getting kidnapped, getting her powers, losing Trip, hiding her transformation, but she thinks it's all her fault. I mean, that's just tragic. There's something very wrong with me. No, you're just different now. Oh. <laughs> You're just different now, and there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god. Sky saying there is something very wrong with me breaks my heart every single time. And the way that Fitz instantly, just instantly responds with, no, you're just different now. Oh my god, he never believed that she would be evil. He always knew that she was meant to be a superhero. And then Fitz takes a second and he thinks and he says exactly what Sky needed to hear in that moment, that you're just different now and there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god. Whenever I watch this scene, I love to remember Fitz's point of view here. After his head injury, he felt so different and he was completely convinced that something was wrong with him because he was different. Everyone treated him differently and Gemma left him and he was all alone because he was different now. And Fitz knew that Skye was feeling the exact same way in this moment, that everything has changed forever because she's different. So Fitz tells Skye what I think he wishes that someone had been there to tell him when he was in pain, that you're just different now and there's nothing wrong with that. Fitz literally took his own trauma and somehow was able to find the most perfect way to comfort Skye and that is just the most beautiful thing ever. He would never abandon Skye or treat her any differently like what happened to him. To me this scene is so important for both Skye and Fitz because that line is exactly what they both needed to hear. And that's why on this t-shirt I designed I wrote you're just different now and there's nothing wrong with that twice to show how it was so life-changing for both Skye and Fitz. You can shop this Leo Fitz and Daisy Skye Johnson t-shirt now at the link in this video description. Plus the fact that Fitz was right. Like Sky's quake powers grew so much and she became a superhero that Fitz always believed that she could be. Daisy Sky Johnson's whole story and this line is just proof that being different can lead to amazing things and I love it so so much. Thank you so much to everyone who requested this reaction video. Definitely keep commenting below and messaging me on Instagram and TikTok at We Could Be Heroes Designs what other Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. or other Marvel show or movie scenes or episodes I should react to next. If you like this video and you feel like sticking around for a bit, be sure to check out this video where I reacted to Phil Coulson's final goodbye on Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Remember to check out my merchandise shop called We Could Be Heroes Designs at the link in the description below if you love heroic merch inspired by Marvel, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., Teen Wolf, or Outer Banks. Be sure to like this video, comment below if you love Fitz and Daisy's friendship on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., and subscribe to my channel for more reaction videos like this, and I will see you in my next video! Bye!